Hello and a very warm welcome to Putra Stadium here in Kuala Lumpur for semi-finals day at the Maybank Malaysia Open. The third event on the 12 tournament MetLife BWF World uh, Super Series. Not only the third event, but also the second of five premier events and even higher tier of tournament within the Super Series. And of course, at the end of the year, the Super Series finals. And as with last year, the destination is Dubai. Only the top eight players and pairs in each of the five disciplines will qualify for those Super Series finals. Well, as I say, it is semi-finals day today, and we're starting with women's singles and a battle between Olympic medalists, the gold medalist, Li Shui Rei, up against the bronze medalist, the new world number one, Saina Newell. Then mixed doubles and the battle of reigning and former world champions, the reigning world champions, Zhang Nan and Zhao Yunlei, up against Tuntui Ahmad and Liliana Nasir. Then men's doubles and Mohamed Hassan and Ken Setia one who won this title in 2013. They're up against Matthias Bo and Carsten Morgensen, who were silver medalists at both the Olympics and World Championships. Then women's doubles and two new pairs, Zhang Ye Na and Zhang Kyung Ung of Korea, up against the Chinese pair of Xia Kuan and Tian Qing. Then we finish with men's singles and the two-time and reigning Olympic champion, five-time world champion, Lin Dan of China, up against Jan Or Jorgensen from Denmark, who's appearing in his third consecutive semi-final here in Malaysia. So to the first of our matches, and it's the number one seed, Li Shui Rei of China, up against the number three seed, Saina Newell of India. Well, we're expecting a little bit of spice between these two players because Li Shui Rei was the world number one. There's Kashyap. So the public address has announced the players led out by the former world number one, Li Shui Rui, followed by the new world number one, Saina Ewa. Well, what a start to the year Sina Newell has had three previous tournaments, three finals, having won two of them. So there, the draw from the quarter-final stage. And I can tell you that that semi-final stage, yeah. China quite dominant. Right. Uh, of course, the biggest moment probably of her sporting career so far, the Olympic gold medal in London in 2012. She's the defending champion here. But Ian, I guess, uh, with a player who's been world number one for 118 consecutive weeks to suddenly lose that number one ranking or an opportunity to play that place should be fairly spicy. Absolutely. I think, uh, I think she'll be relishing this challenge. Well, there we can see she is the number one seed, but she's gone down to number three, down two places, obviously. And of course, last year when she won this title, she beat Wang Shaxian in the final. Her one-on-one win-loss record for the year so far relates to the All England Championships where she lost in the second round, despite the fact that she was the number one seed. So in her matches up until now, well, we'll have a look at Sina Nawal first. And she is, as I say, the new world number one. The number three seed, of course, the seedings were done before the new world ranking was published. That 14-1, and one, as I was saying, 
three tournaments so far this year, three finals, winning both titles that she's uh, played on home soil. The India Grand Prix gold event retained that title in Lucknow, and then last week, the India Super Series event, and she reached the final, of course, of the All England as well. Now, this is the 11th meeting between the two players, and the overwhelming advantage, eight and two of the previous 10, and the last time they met was in the quarter-final stage of the World Championships last year. And you can see uh, that it was relatively easy for Li Shui Rei. Of course, Li Shui Rei went on to reach the final. And for the second consecutive World Championships running, she had to settle for second best, two silver medals. Well, let me tell you about these players and how they've got to this semi-final stage. Sina Nawal hasn't played against a seeded player so far. Well, she was taking the full distance yesterday in the quarterfinal against Sun Yu, winning through 21-17 in an hour and 10 minutes in the deciding game. And if you were with us yesterday, you would have enjoyed that match with us as well. As far as Li Shui Rei is concerned, her uh, par through has been a little more difficult in the second round. She went to three games with Akane Yamaguchi. Ladies and then and in the quarterfinal, three games right. against the 2012 China, winner, Wang Yihan. India. And on my left, Li Xiaolui, China. Li Xiaolui, serve, love all, play. A delightful shot from Li Shui Rei. One love. One. And of course, Ian, since that last meeting in the quarterfinal of the World Championships in Copenhagen last year, an awful lot has happened, hasn't it? Because it was after those World Championships late in the year that Li Shui Rei picked up an injury. She withdrew from the China Open, didn't play Hong Kong, couldn't contest the Super Series finals in Dubai because of the injury had what, by her standards, is a poor All England as defending champion to lose first round was disappointing for her. And now her opponent is world number one. So a lot has changed since then. Well, I think it's fair to say a lot's changed for both players. I mean, Sina's also had a change of regime and switched things up a little bit. And I think Sina from the World Championships is not the same player. Uh, she's playing with a lot more confidence. She's got her old sort of determination back, and uh, I think this is going to be a really interesting game. As you say, Lee won't be happy having lost the number one spot. Sina, having just got there, will be determined to keep it and impose herself. I think we're in for a great matchup. Should be mentioned, perhaps, that Lee Shui Rei, on her world ranking, has only got ten tournament, uh, eight tournaments towards a world ranking, and you really need ten to get a realistic reflection of your capabilities and I guess part of that has come about because of the sabbatical that the players had at the beginning of the year from the Super Series it was requested by the players the BWF uh, listened to them they gave them two months off from Super Series tournaments but it does mean that some of the players that don't play other events as well have lost some of their Super Series uh, results from their so world ranking and therefore three, they've dropped down two. below the optimum number of 10. Yeah, and Lee's uh, certainly suffered of that. Also, oh, she's had some injuries. She's had problems at the end of last year. So that's exaggerated, really, because she basically missed the last two months of last year as well. So uh, she's lost a lot of points in over the last four months. So it's over three, all. Oh. Just long. Four, three. Slightly quizzical look from Sina here. She's playing from what has been the slower end all week, so she was a bit surprised to see that go out the back of the court, I think. So it's over. 
football. There we see an oh. example of the quicker end that Lee's playing from in this first game. Nice landing in. That is good control from this side of the court, isn't it? Yeah, really good control. Using the cross clear just to give herself a little bit more margin, slightly longer different distance. And with that, she's able to control the length and keep the shuttle in. Landed in as well. So it's over six five. Not all the fans in the stadium quite yet, and I wonder if that's maybe affected the drift a little bit. One doesn't know. Because so I would have said yesterday I wouldn't put money on those all. two going long of the back line, but maybe it's just wonderful control by the Olympic champion. I think the players adapt to the situations during the week as well. They've both had some tough matches now and should have a better feel for the court and the conditions. I spoke too soon. That's the problem with the straight clear. Try and play the straight quick clear from this end. Shuttle just gets picked up on the current of air. Tends to drift long. Who will see it? Didn't hit it that hard, but just gets picked up and carried out the back of the court. Mm, nice idea. We're just overdoing it, and it wasn't wholeheartedly convinced by her movement in the round the head position there. Lee further away. No, not quite behind the shuttle. As we say, she's had her injury problems over the last few months, and I think when we saw her play earlier in the week, still lacking a little bit of confidence, I would say. Traditionally, she's someone who thrives on a lot of match play. And as you say, for the last couple of months, she's not really played competitively, just the one tournament at the All England. Nine, six. In fact, the last time that she played prior to the All England was the final of the French Super Series, where she retired injured partway through. So that was what? November, Ten, October? Late six. October? Yeah, end of October. movement there of the Olympic champion slightly suspect but well, then she's got to think about opening Ladies up those angles two. hasn't she if you play across Women's court the likelihood is a straight block which means you've got the full 30. diagonal of the court Carolina to scamper Marie longest distance yeah it's China. interesting there seems to be even more strapping Compliance. on that right knee than uh, earlier in the tournament when we were watching it Certainly against Yamaguchi, it was that short backhand corner that was given and seemed to be giving her some problems. Just seemed to be lacking confidence to really commit to the deep lunge position. We saw it again in that last point. You can see the strapping there. Well, Silent A will on a run of six straight points from a 5 6 deficit to 11 6 up.
does play a lot of cross shots, Simon Awell, in, in, as a generalization. Yeah, she does, and from this slower end, perhaps we better punch in that straight. But as you say, she's got that habit. She likes to use width in the rear court, but certainly opened herself up to the straight smash with that one. hit the top of the tape. Ah, created her own luck there. Commitment coming forward. I know it was a, a lucky net call, but quite frankly, if it hadn't hit the net, I think it would have been a winner anyway. But I like that commitment here, and that's all come from the confidence. Very much so. She's on a good run at the moment. Playing with a lot of confidence here at the start of this match. And it's been I've watched it carefully. It's interesting though, Jill, isn't it? We've seen some of the other players that had good results last week from India struggle this week. But Saina's such a good athlete, isn't she? You know, yeah. she's she's still playing with real pace in the game and forcing the tempo, playing with great intensity, and it's almost as though she didn't play last week. She looks fresh. Yeah. And that's yeah. real credit to the preparation. Absolutely. Well, I remember back in 2010, she won three titles in three weeks, the India Grand Prix gold, then backed it up winning the Singapore Super Series and then the Indonesian Super Series. Now, to win two Super Series back to back, having won a tournament prior to that, it was nothing short of phenomenal. So we know she's got good fitness. She's got, and we saw it yesterday, didn't we? Her fighting spirit. Yeah, I mean, she didn't play her best level yesterday, but you know, she found a way, didn't she? And that's what champions do. There were some shots that weren't working too well for her, so she cut them out, played with better margins, and just found a way to win it. It was very impressive. And that's a nice change of angle. Going for the center smash. Good thinking from Lee here. So they're trying to get back to a center position. Yeah, caught completely by surprise. Get the feeling Lee's working away into this match. It looked a little tentative in the first few points, but she's starting to find a bit of rhythm. The movement's improving. Maybe that right knee just lo loosening up a little bit. change of tactics from Sina though using the fast cross court drive defense keeping a good variety in a game at the moment and she can use that drive from this side of course slightly easy to control from the far end
finished off with a wonderful drop shot. Yeah, she looks laboured a little bit in her movement, doesn't she? Sure, right. But look at this. What a shot to finish it. Look where that shuttle landed so far in front of that front service line. Twenty-four shots that rally. Yeah, no wonder if she's breathing heavily. Even walking around the court, you do have the feeling that she's favouring the left leg a little bit. She does look a little bit stiff, doesn't she? Yeah, as, as I said, I mean, her movement just looks a little laboured, doesn't it? I mean, I've always thought of Li Shui with delightful movement. Effortless movement. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Well, just pointing to the corner as if to say to the coach, should I have left that? It was, a, it was a nice deceptive flick off the yeah. net from Lee, though, wasn't it? Super racket work. We're going to see it uh, too late. Oh, that's beautiful. My goodness, mate. So it's over. Well, we saw the. It's a very short drop shot winner in there. We've seen the other extreme of the court. This is super control of length. Really lovely hold and push into that back corner. Really making the court big for Lee at the moment, Sina. So it's over to our 18. Well, it was a delightful backhand from Sina Newell, but I'm getting more and more concerned, Ian, about uh, the fitness there of Alicia Wairoi. She could not push off. She could not change direction. Yeah, I think, yeah, there is, it looks though there is some physical, uh, physical issue, but I also think there's a tactical issue at this end. She would like to be flicking off to the rear court rear court more often but she doesn't have the confidence to do that from this quicker end and uh, I think she's getting a little bit frustrated with that Seven opportunities to take this opening game for Sina Newell. Good. Only needed the one. First game won by Sina Newell, 21 30. 21-13 confirms the umpire. What on earth was that final shot from Lee Schwere? A complete miss hit. And look at her movement. There's no power anyway on that right leg to turn and play the shot. But there is confirmation that the new world number one, number three seed here, Simon Awell. Pretty comfortable opening game. 21-13 in 16 minutes. Coach.
Now there's Kashyap Parupali. Indian teammate, good friends with Sina Newell. So as the players return to court, my mind goes back to yesterday's quarter-final, Ian, when Sina Newell had won the opening game pretty comfortably against Sun Yu. 21-11 yesterday, and then struggled in the second because she couldn't use the second punch game. clears in the same way because they Love were going all. long. Presumably, she's Play. learned from that. Well, that's, that's the challenge now, and that's the question. She was equally as comfortable in the first game yesterday, yesterday against Sun Yu, but she really struggled from this end yesterday. And there we see it already, a misjudgment. So you say, will she have learned from it? Well, one, also, there might no. be some sort of residual negative uh, impact from this end as well, because she really did struggle from this end yesterday. Yeah. Court from the deep forehand corner. It's the one that did the damage. Well, I know we've only had three rallies at the start of this second game, but do you sense that she's trying, going to try and be a little more aggressive in her style to sort of take that? Uh, drift out of the equation Two, yeah clearly one. we saw when she was late in the previous round she didn't lift she played the drive just to the mid court and there again we saw her being very aggressive from the rear court and trying to follow in and get control of the net and here we see another net net exchange she doesn't want to lift oh, brilliant well, that's really good but you almost saw Three, me visibly one. flinch when she came into this backhand watch this Oh. Yeah, there was an extra little step, wasn't yeah, there? She doesn't want to put full weight on that right leg, does she? a nice rally and, and, and we see a change already because Lisha Ray she's able to use the flick Two, to the rear court three. which makes Sina's court much bigger and that opens the space at the net for the winning shot at the end there so Lisha Ray looks more confident tactically from this end certainly it's just a question of whether a movement's going to be good enough to exploit it Good pressure. Yeah, and same tactic, holding the shuttle, taking it early, Three, holding the shuttle, oh. pushing into the rear court. There we see making Sina late, keeping the pressure on it, keep moving forward. Good rally. She's got to be careful. She wants oh. to be more aggressive oh. from this end. But she needs to give herself a margin when she's doing it. It was an amazing year last year, wasn't it? For this Chin Long. I'm surprised he's down uh, at the stadium already. He's fourth match on the adjoining court. Off. Complete miss hit from Sina Newell. Yeah, I was just going back to the point I was about to make about Lee Shui Ray and the fact that she had an amazing Five, year last year. Four. Ten tournaments reached the final in all ten of them. 
It really is extraordinary. The first uh, loss she had for 15 months before a final was the All England Championships. Go that long, every tournament you play, reaching at least the final. Well, there was a good reason why she was world number one, wasn't there? This is going to be an important rally. And it's got to be the longest rally of the match so far, and that's great judgment. Uh, challenge. Oh. We'll see how good the judgment was. Well, I thought it was out. Didn't you? I'm putting you on the spot, aren't well, I? I felt it was drifting out, but uh, in the end, I'm not sure. I wasn't surprised when Sainer left it, that's for sure. New Hawkeye with their instant review system. Well, tell us for sure. Yeah, it was out. Oh, I am back on my form, aren't I? <laughs> well, Hawkeye beats your eagle eyes. <laughs> Service over, five all, play, one challenge remaining. And that's landed in, good yeah, return. Yeah, great return again, just Service that slight over. hold, isn't there? Six, just that five. slight hold and that breaks the start position of Sina. Allows Lee to get the shuttle in behind her opponent. Well, that's cool. Good. Sina's going to challenge that. Now, I think that is worth Shall a challenge. <laughs> you're, look, you're just you, smiling at I'm me. I'm just wondering whether you're going to put your head on the block again, Jill. Are, uh, you, are, well you, now, saying, are you saying out? <laughs> well, now you've called me eagle eye. <laughs> as, a, as opposed to our Hawkeye. Again, I felt the shuttle was going. I felt the shuttle was going out, but in the end... It, well, <laughs> there we are. I think we have to. I think we have to bow to technology now. Challenge and successful. Service over. Sorry. We're talking about the last shot, but that was a great rally. Seven, Mixed five, up the rear court play and the four court play. Had Sina really having to hunt down the shuttle from all four corners, and then a lovely slice to finish the rally. Yeah, good aggression. Service over. Six, seven. Both determined to go for the lines, aren't they? This is close again. Just out. Oh, that is superb. Wonderful play from me, Shirley. Goodness me. Oh, beautifully constructed. Yeah. Slice, sign a late, one to the body and then out to the side again. Great play.
four of the last five points to Simon Neil. And that's landed in, that's a great play. Service over, nine, all. Body so movement there, Lee Shui Ray. Screaming discomfort. Now, whether that's because of pain or whether that's because of fatigue, I'm not quite sure, but really didn't look comfortable as she played that round the head shot. Super slice, isn't it? 11, 10, and I think, as far as Lu Xue is concerned, the more I'm looking at this, Ian, the more she has to dictate the pace because then she knows really where she's moving. When she's having to react to what Sina Nawal is doing, she's having to twist and turn, wait until the shot is played, and that, of course, is more difficult movement wise for her. Yeah, and as, as with a lot of the players this week, she's looked a lot more comfortable from this uh, from the end she's playing at the moment. She's able to use more variety, use some flicks into the rear court that have been really effective. But tactically, it's quite interesting with Sina. I mean, she's won the first game. She's had a very clear tactic. She's won the first game with that tactic, and she's turned around, and because of the end, she changed the tactic. And I'm not sure I agree with that. I think you keep trying to play with the winning tactic until you hit a problem with the end. And in the last few points there, when she came back into this second game, she actually played the tactic she'd been using in the first game, trying to use the cross clears to the rear court, cross to the forecourt, make the court big. But she'd gone away from that at the beginning of the game. Yeah, very, very good point. It's gone long. Yeah. You come from the north of England, don't you? If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Not, qu not quite that far north, but uh, uh, I know what you mean. Yeah. Yeah. yeah she's 14, uh, smashing 10. quite a few down the sign and they will forehand side, and she's enjoying success with it. Yeah, she's taken a little bit of pace off the attack in this second game. She's going more for angle, which is forcing Sina to take the shuttle lower down, which gives herself more time to get in and get control of the front court. A clever play. Just wide. Service over. 11, 13. That's lovely again. We see the whole flick to rear court, flick to rear court, and then early on the net on the third Service one, playing the super spinning 14, net shot. 11. Great tactics. And it was a super net shot, wasn't it? Mm, a big effort to lunge forward. I think the shuttle early. But your point's a good one, Jill. She created the time to, to make the lunge. She wasn't yeah. late. You know, she dictated the rally, got it in behind Sina, and that created the time to 11. commit to that net shot. Service over, 
Joshua, 15. Oh, it's a good return of serve again. That's a fantastic smash. Yep, bred the situation well. It's just a little bit short, that backhand clear. Took full advantage. 13, 15. Straight down that line. Yeah, just a little bit too flat from Lee this time, and Sainer able to intercept. We we're going to watch it here. She gets up, takes this really early. Look at that jumping from centre. And finding the line with the smash. Good play. Sign and Abel has done well because I thought at 11.15, I thought, you know, it was looking as if Li Shui was about to run away with this and send it to a decider. There's only two points in it. It's a good lift. Gone long. That was a big point. 14. This stage of a match, 17 14 or 15 16. Yeah, at this stage, the difference between a one, one point gap and a three point gap is enormous. What a return! Well, by serving out wide on the low serve, Li Shuere was expecting something down her forehand side, either a net shot or a push down the to her forehand corner. She wasn't expecting that at all. Good fighting from Sina. She was under pressure there. It was Lee dictating the rally early on there. She was able to come back into the rally. You can see Sina really off balance, but she's fighting all the time, isn't she? Mm. Always getting one more shuttle back, keeping the pressure on her opponent. Yeah, can't help but think back to that match point last night. Oh, yeah, it's just wide. And Simon and Abel scrambled the shuttle back and scrambled it back again against Sun Yu. It was a terrific rally, wasn't it? And just showed the fighting spirit and how it can be so rewarding. the space for it but again we see Sina's fighting spirit getting the shuttle back and building the pressure upon the opponent and in the end Lee felt she had to go for a line when probably she didn't yeah, and so lots of space there but because Sina's getting so much back she felt under pressure yeah and you're right Ian. I, I don't think she really had to go that close to the line no 26 is that the longest of the match so far?
Well, using your previous theory, everything broke, don't fix it, and going straight down that line has won a numerous points, but she just overplayed it. Yeah, I think she's tried to hit that too hard, to be honest. She needs to give herself a little margin for error down there and keep the pressure on her opponent, as she has done so well in the last few points. Great shot, super angle, created the space again and used the diagonal really well. Gonna see it here, good clear, getting Siner off balance in the rear court and then a super cut down to the line. Yeah. Wonderful. So three game point opportunities to force a third and deciding game. Overdone it. It is one game all. 21-17, that second game. 40 minutes of play, and this a fascinating contest. Well, all credit to Li Shui she looked to be struggling at times, but it is one game all, and she still has a chance to get through to tomorrow's final. All come down to this third and deciding game. Fantastic achievement, world number one. Part one, 70 seconds. It was published Part on Thursday, a couple of days ago. Yeah, she's had no time to celebrate, has she? No. Straight back to business. Well, I don't know, maybe her traditional celebration of winning a tournament. She allows herself some ice cream. May have had that. Yeah, it's a good job I've never had that rule. I'd have to wait a long time for my ice cream. But I might be a bit slimmer. <laughs> so third and deciding game, this women's single semi-final. That's brilliant. Yeah, didn't she do that in the opening rally of the first game? One, it's a repeat, <laughs> it's a repeat. <laughs> Great retrieving from Siner again, but again, just forced that attack a little bit, I feel. 
Just needs to give herself a margin. What she was doing well in the first game was hitting the smash and then getting in behind it and attacking from the net. And now she's trying to win it with one shot, just with the smash. I think she just needs to bring that in 30 centimeters and make sure that she's in good balance to follow up and take advantage from the forecourt. as to whether she should play that. If we're right, it's a good rally. Yeah. Well, whether it's injury problems or whether it is now just fitness problems, as in stamina and lack of muscle power to push back, I'm not quite sure, but didn't move for that at all. That looked really strange, didn't it? I think she's tired. I think she's running out of stamina. Well, she's not had much match play. I mean, you can train a lot physically, but you do need match play. And uh, two matches in four months, basically, is uh, you know, it's probably not enough for it. Good, tight spinning net shot. Oh, Naywell's tight spinning net shot. Oh, that takes great skill and courage. Look at Naywell's shot. How on earth did Li Shuere play that? Look at the spin as well. Yeah, delightful. Oh dear me, that certainly wasn't delightful. Yeah, there are real signs of fatigue, aren't there? Yeah. Three tired looking shots. Well, she, she opened up so well. The first three points were she played a fantastic level, and suddenly she's just hit the wall, hasn't she? Real fatigue, one long rally, and she's really hit a barrier. Again, Sina needs to keep that in at the moment. She needs the shuttle on the court, and make her opponent work really hard. Not in position again. Sorry, the legs Five. weren't working there. Oh. Well, Ushwere needs to dig deep here because she looks to me as if she's gone physically. She's finishing. No, she's Five. wanting to change the shuttle. Well, no, no, don't be too alarmed at the moment. That was a that was a strange movement after that shot, though, wasn't yeah. it? There's a lot of doubt in her mind at the moment. You can see that. Sign and they will not change in the shuttle. Quite right. Oh, there's a challenge here. Liu Jianlu challenge for in. Again, I feel from Lee's point of view it's a good challenge because it will just give herself a little bit of time as well to compose herself because certainly she's not comfortable at the moment. Clearly, a good call cool line judge. You know, I think she knew it as well, Jill. I think she wanted that break. I think she wanted time to just compose herself a little bit. Seven five. Play. No challenge remaining. Yeah, no challenges remaining.
played well in too. Well, I thought in last year's World Championship final with Alicia Ray against Carolina Marin, I thought there were similar signs then of her fatigue, and I remember in the latter stages, that's a nice shot, that's good. At the latter stages, she needed to retie her shoelaces, take her shoe off, take her sock off, but um, there may be a, a long-term fitness issue here that we don't know about. But of course, if you've been off injured, then you can't train, even on your stamina, so it's no wonder that that's lacking a little bit. She's actually moving not too badly in straight lines. It's when she's being forced to change direction, she's really struggling. She just seems to be missing a little bit of leg, leg strength to change direction. Yeah, and this is why I said in the second game she needs to command the rallies. When she's commanding the rallies, then she's not having to change direction so much. This rally is going to hurt Lee Schwerey. Look at her. Really good thinking from Sina there, playing that rally out and doing what we've been talking about, giving herself some margin for error there, keeping the shuttle on the court, making sure opponents happen to work really hard. Really good play from Sina. Not spectacular, but very effective. Oh, I think that must be the longest of the match so far, isn't it? On wide and Sion and Awell has a four point advantage as the players change ends in this deciding game. And I make that 10 of the last 13 points won by Sion and Awell. Well, this is interesting now. I mean, this match again has gone with the ends. Both players have struggled from the quicker end. But has Nisha Array got enough left physically to take advantage of a, of a preferred end? fatigue in the legs and there's some big gulps of air being taken in there as well yeah. still refusing to change the shot champion that's not the sort of error on the return of serve that you expect it's more like it it's down the naval forehand side again isn't it Set up with it a good tight net shot. Oh, it was a good two, wasn't it? Tumble on it as well. Yeah, she's getting great effect on the net shots. When you let her get close to the net, she gets a lot of a lot of effect on the shuttle. It makes it very difficult to control the lift.
will to get that back. Uh, what a great rally. Yeah, she's making a real concerted effort to get, get to the net, isn't she? Trying to create some time for herself. We see it again, that's a super spinning net shot. Short lift, forces the short lift, good finish. Super play from Lee Schwerway. Oh, what a comeback. Four straight points. The pattern continues. Both players so much more comfortable from that far end. Yeah. Well, that's a real pronounced limp now. Control. She's going to try and take her time as much as the umpire will allow between points as well. Super length. Yeah, plumb on the line. And five straight points from 7 12 down back to 12 all. How many more twists and turns in this match are we going to have? Good net shot. Yeah. Seeing some great quality from both of these players at the moment around the net, aren't we? Sharu's won three or four points with great spinning net shots, but Sina finds it. Shows that she can also play around the net area. Look at this for touch. Yep. Lands it on top of the net. Great control. Easy finish. Oh, it's called a fault. She's called a fault for taking the shuttle before it's crossed over the net, and Sina Nawal immediately turns to look at the giant screen to watch the replay. Now she's judged to have taken the shuttle before it crossed over the net. Oof, my goodness me, that was close. Constructed, confident to use the rear court from this side. You see the fast flick there, creates the space. She's won a couple of times with that cross slice from there, hasn't she? There, mixes it up, shows good variety, goes to the other side. timing a shot like that comes about when you're tired This is gonna hurt. This is a long, long rally. It's called cool, good. There's a challenge here from Sine and Awol. 
China Netball Challenge called Indy. Well, we've had three challenges so far. Two from Li Shui Rui, one from Sina Newell, Pratt and Hal. And the players haven't been right once. Both players taking full advantage of the break here. Yeah. Sina just having a bite of banana drink. Li Shui stretching out that knee, readjusting the shoe. Catch the line. Line judge was correct once again. Service over 15 14. No challenge remaining. Play. Well, exactly an hour this match has been in progress. One hour of superb badminton. Yeah, she was determined not to get faulted again, sign an AWOL. Yeah, good brave play going for the kill there. Fully committed. As you say, very careful not to touch the net. Spoken to by the umpire. Well, switching off her microphone so we can't hear what's being said. We can only assume that she's been told off for not getting ready to receive a little quicker. A time waster. Oh, that's clever. How many has she hit straight down the line that time going for the right hip? That's clever, clever play. It's good match play now. And you'll see here Lee Shaure anticipating the straight and getting caught off guard. Super play. She needed to get it right across the court to keep it in. It's too close to the centre of the court and flies out the back. Hit the top of the net and fell back her side and look at the body language. Screaming tiredness. Again, those sign of fighting for every shuttle, isn't she? Yeah. I think Lee thought she'd won with the straight smash, but no, it comes back and she makes the error. Sign and A will under huge pressure. And yeah, again, she's just not been able to get it far enough across the court to keep it in. Just one here. Look at that. That's a lovely punch, Claire. Got a little tense, hasn't it? Well, that's understandable at this stage of the match. It's 
gone long. Pulera is creeping in on both sides. Nice block. Yeah. Oh. Well, I thought she touched it. To... Yeah, so did I. I think it probably did go out the back of the court, but I think she took. I thought she touched it. So did I. And sign an A walk. Well, she says there's no more challenges there. I don't think it was in question whether it had gone long. Whether she touched it. Yeah, definitely went on. Oh, 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 did it? Yeah, well, Hawkeye is confirming to us indeed it was just long, which is what we both thought, but it was a question of whether she'd touched it or not. 19 all. To be honest, it was close for the umpire to overrule as well. Yeah. So two straight points takes Li Shui Rei, the defending champion, to match point opportunity. Landed in. What gutsy play from Sine and Awok. Great match play now. She knew she'd got to keep the pressure on her opponent, and there she does find the diagonal and keep the shuttle in in the rear court. Super play. That's well in, isn't it? All extra points needed until there's a clear two point winning margin. Yeah, that's a great net shot from Lee. She was under pressure, she was taking the shuttle a little bit later than she would like to have done. Backed herself in her own level of skill there. And came up with a super spinning net shot. Yeah. So, match point opportunity number two for the defending champion. Oh, what an exchange. A short, yeah. Well, my goodness, what a terrific semi-final. The former world number one, Li Shui Rei, gets revenge over the player who took her number one spot earlier this week. What a fabulous match. The twists and turns, the quality of play. And for Li Shui Rei, Hanging on desperately, changing ends 7 11 down. In fact, she was 7 12 down at one stage, closed that deficit to 12 all, and there it was nip and tuck the whole way until 22 20 in the deciding game. An hour and seven minutes of wonderful women's singles. So there you can see the final tomorrow will be a repeat of the World Championship final from Copenhagen last year. Li Shui Rei, the defending champion against the world champion, Carolina Marin from Spain.
So after that excellent women's single semi-final, we turn our attention to a mixed doubles, and it's a battle of uh, reigning world champions against the former world champions. Then, as you can see, we'll have men's uh, doubles and the 2013 winners of the Malaysian Open. Incidentally, they won that when they were unseeded up against Bo and Mogensen. Then we'll have women's doubles, and we'll finish with men's singles and Lindan against Yano.